Hey boys, it's Arm None. Today, we're customizing the Oppressor Mark 1. Now this is something I never thought that I would actually do. Since the Mark 2 has come out, I've actually decided that the Oppressor Mark 1 is okay. Yes, you've heard it here first. It is now legal to own an Oppressor Mark 1. And today, we're gonna to be customizing this one because I have just bought it. I've been flying it around stock and uh, it's honestly, it's, it's a good time. Uh, so we're going to bring this thing into the mobile operation center right here and we're going to, oh, well, that's not going well. Um, okay, nice. Okay. We're going to try that again without like boosting right into the MOC. Okay. Um, you're unable to access the mobile operation center in this area, move to a more subtle or suitable location. That is the most egregious cap I've ever heard. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, let's go. We made it in. We made it in. Okay. Good. Okay. Here we are inside of the MOC. We're gonna start off with the uh, with the armor, of course, all the way up. Race brakes, of course. The engine block and the engine tunes. Oh, let's go for the vortex engine. Looks looks a bit cooler. Uh, engine tunes all the way up, obviously. Now for the fairing, we can add a uh, a saber fairing. Um, I sure. Let's do it. Why not? Seven grand. Front mud guards. Yeah, we'll add the saber mud guard as well, just because. Looks awesome. Uh, dual vented tank. Yeah, it looks better. Better with the uh, top of the bike there, so we'll go for that. Xenon lights, of course, as well. Now, oh, we can put camo on this thing. I kind of forgot about that. Okay, well, I kind of have an idea of what I want to go for then, since we can actually put camo on this. Uh, we Oh, they have SN liveries? That's kind of sick. I want to go for, I think it's the nature reserve. Um, although the, both colors are black right now, so I think it's kind of hard to see, but we'll click on it for right now and uh, we'll we'll figure it out later. Uh, for the rear wheel, we, yeah, we'll add the Saber Mudguard. I mean, we've put every other Saber option on, why not? Put another one on. Yes, this is, this is the uh, this is the right livery. So we're gonna go for the crew color for the primary. And uh, for the secondary color, we're gonna go for a metallic black. And then um, for the pearlescent, uh, I want to put on a metallic black because I don't want it to be like, I don't know, confusing looking. So uh, we'll do that. Now we can go for the saber seat, the minimalist seat or, uh, or stock, of course. Um, I actually kind of like the minimalist. I feel like that looks pretty good. It'd be nice if I could pan the camera over there to see it better, but of course I can't. Um, so that's awesome. Uh, race transmission, of course, we're going to add that. The turbo as well. Now for the weapons, uh, should we add missiles to this thing? Um, see, this is this is where I'm debating life right now because I don't want to become an oppressor guy because I absolutely hate them. Um, the missiles are useful. And if I was ever flying this thing and I was like about to get griefed, I would probably want the missiles on it. So I guess I'm going to spend 180 grand on the missiles. So it hurts to do it. It hurts to, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to become an oppressor guy though, I, I promise, I, I just will not. Um, we're going to go for the street special uh, for the rims, I think those look pretty good. We can go for black or should we go for like a red? So we can't, I, why don't they have crew color for the rims? That would make so much sense, but I guess not. Uh, we'll go for black. Uh, bulletproof tires, obviously we're going to add those. Custom tires, absolutely not. Uh, tire smoke, you know, I usually don't put tire smoke on, but we're going to go for red today just because, why not? And uh, that is that is it, boys. That's the customization. So it's time to take this thing outside and uh, we're going to do a, uh, a review on the vehicle and, uh, you know, see what's up. Okay, well, I guess the first thing I need to do is a sound test, even though it's a bike and it sounds awful realistically, but here we go. Okay, you know what? It's actually pretty sick that this thing actually shoots flames out of the exhaust. I don't think I've seen... I guess other motorcycles do that now that I think about it, actually, but I don't know. I feel like that's kind of interesting, especially, like, the location of them being right beside the rocket booster. I don't know. It seems like some spontaneous combustion could occur there, but uh, I, I suppose it's safe. I'm on the PC version, so to extend the wings, I press X. I'm not sure what that would be on console for you guys that are on console. Uh, but I'm sure a lot of you probably know already. Uh, I also press E in order to launch this thing into the air with the uh, with the boost, um, or press E to launch the boost, I guess. This thing is a lot of fun, I have to say. Um, I am enjoying flying this thing around, driving it around. It, it is actually a very fun vehicle. I low-key feel like I've been missing out for uh, for a while. 
um, by not having an oppressor mark one um, and it's not nearly as scummy as the mark two like you never get griefed by an oppressor mark one anymore but see the thing is back in the day you used to you used to get griefed by the mark one because the mark two didn't exist so um, I don't know it, it was just hard for me to uh, hard for me to get the mark one but you know what now that I have it honestly it's not that bad and that is literally such an L okay well uh, um now, as far as the performance of the uh, the Mark One Oppressor goes, um, as a motorcycle, um, it's not very quick. I'm not gonna lie. This thing is this thing is pretty slow. Uh, it's pretty hard to even do a wheelie on it. I actually can barely do a wheelie on it. Let's be honest. Nobody's using this thing as a motorcycle. We all know that that's never going to happen. Like you might drive it around a little bit, but if you're gonna be on this thing, you're gonna be you know giving her and uh, flying as much as you can. So. Um, but I mean, it's it's okay as a motorcycle, I guess. I mean, like you do you do have the rocket boost, uh, which is nice, which kind of helps it accelerate a little bit better. I mean, it's a motorcycle, so it doesn't exactly have like great handling, but it's like it's not going to spin out on you or anything because it's a motorcycle. It's it's interesting. I feel like for a motorcycle, it like it actually handles a lot like the Hakuchi drag, which isn't exactly ideal because the drag really doesn't handle that well like it doesn't have a very good turning radius so that's not exactly super ideal oh my god come on ah now with the uh with the rocket boost obviously that can uh, make this thing accelerate quite quickly dude jesus oh my god okay um yeah it, it handles shockingly like the hakuchi drag it's actually uh it's actually impressive how it handles like the Hakuchi drag and it's not even like a drag bike it just handles that badly um, so yeah this thing is not gonna um, it's not gonna exactly be the greatest bike to race with and I actually don't even think you're allowed to race with it so that kind of takes care of that um, yeah overall I mean the oppressor mark one it's it's a cool bike it's a fun fun bike I mean that's that's honestly a lot of the reason why I bought this thing is just because it's it's kind of a blast and you know it's it's not that bad anymore it's nowhere near as bad as the oppressor mark ii um i can wholeheartedly say that so that's uh, that is a good thing um and this thing i mean it, it is a blast i mean you can just like tap on a root <sighs> as i was saying you can just barely tap on a rooftop and it, it'll it'll start oh my god oh my god Anyway guys, that's uh, that's it for the Oppressor Mark 1 customization and review today. Overall, it's a pretty good bike. It's very fun. Definitely a fun vehicle to have, just as long as you're not a griefing scumbag with it. But nobody really is these days because they've all got Mark 2s, so there's no point in having the Mark 1. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, a like is of course appreciated, if not dislike. Comment down below, let me know what other vehicles you'd like to see me customize in the future. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.